we're sitting here with the cleanest industrialized nation on planet Earth. That's amazing. And that's because largely the Railroad Commission is regulating an industry that almost all the threats to our environment have been decreased over the last 10 years more. You look at the stats, CO2 is down, flaring is down. You know, flaring was a big issue a few years back. And now flaring in Texas is less than 1% of natural gas is being flared. It's an attack against our way of life, the way we've done things. Oil, gas, and coal are 80% of world energy. And the replacement they keep suggesting to us there is unreliable energy. And God bless them if they can do it without using my grandkids' tax dollars to finance it. But on our own dollar, the free market, we financed an industry that is now 80% of the world energy is oil, gas, and coal. Wind and solar are 5%. Railroad Commission does a lot of advising worldwide and across the United States to those states that just don't have the expertise we enjoy here in Texas. And so it's a great comment that, and compliment that the Railroad Commission of Texas has the governor of states calling us asking for help. And Governor Youngkin asked me to come up and speak to his Chamber of Commerce groups that met there in Washington, outside of Washington, in Virginia, uh, and speak to them about the truth of the story of oil and gas. And the truth, I think, is important. So the podcast, we are trying to bring different people from uh, Tex Oga, from the different oil and gas organizations, Texas Alliance, uh, different professionals from all across the state, and open it for their view, not my view, for their view to be expressed to people so they can understand the quality of work.